everybody, train engineer Russell. What are you doing, asked the train name. Well, our track here, how we had this little jog, interfered with the articulating engines that we have up here, and they were just barely touching. So, what we came up with is if we move the jog further up in line with this other one, then everything should end up clearing. Unfortunately, we already had all this ballasted, so we came in with uh, hot water to loosen up the glue, and that allows us to pull up all the ballast, pull the track up again, and then we can redo everything. Whoa, so you're saying the articulation of those two engines right over there, that's a cab over and the big boy, or no? Yes, you got the cab forward and the, the big boy. And so when it came through this section of the track, you basically are lifting that those pieces of track up and and you're realigning them well we gotta move to where the track curve here works in alignment with this other one because one of them the, the articulation came out backwards this way and then the other one came in this way oh. and they were just rubbing ever so slight so we gotta adjust the curves here so that way they're in alignment to where if they do end up coming at the same time that they do not rub. So I'm zooming in on the part that you're readjusting so okay you've got the track wow. lifted up but how are you literally going to readjust it? So initially it was like this. Okay. To where the cab forward when it came through the back end would kick out this way and then when the big boy came in the back end the cab pulled out this way so that they were touching coming through so when we if we just switch these that's all you're gonna have to do that's all we're gonna have to do no way and that should clear everything really i find that hard to believe i think train dame's a little bit skeptical well we'll find out here in a little bit once i get it all put back together so after lunch you think sometime after lunch yes i'll come back <laughs> Thanks, Russell. Yes.